Tonight, many Americans, including Metro Detroiters, could get a rare glimpse of the northern lights as a severe solar storm makes them visible here in the Midwest. So we chatted with photojournalist Justin DePrickle about what you need to know to capture the memory forever. So you've heard the northern lights are heading our way and you want to try to get a photo. The first thing we're all going to need is some help from the weather. Clear skies are a must, but we also need a clear view of the entire sky. So that means getting away from any tall buildings or trees. So that might mean going on a bit of a road trip. But I've heard tonight's chances for a strong aurora are good. So even if you're still in the city at around midnight, look up and you might get a chance to see that otherworldly green glow. Getting a photo of an aurora has never been easier. The camera on your smartphone has many automatic features that help it take great photos even in low light. We just might have to tweak some of the settings first. Make sure your camera is in this night mode. From here you can adjust the length of time the photo is being taken. You'll need to have a slow shutter to capture a really great photo of the northern lights. A smartphone tripod or selfie stick, or even just propping your phone up on a table so it stays still while you're taking your photo is going to come in handy here. And finally, if you have a fancy DSLR camera, the idea is basically the same. Switch to manual mode and slow your shutter down. Try 15 seconds or even 30 second exposures. You'll need to experiment with different ISO settings based on how much light is around you. Hopefully these tips will get you started. And if you get some cool pictures tonight, be sure to send them to my picks on clickondetroit.com. I'm photojournalist Justin DePreckle, Local 4.